Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the eight time constructors and champions Mercedes. So, right, as you know, Mercedes have had an awful start into this season. The team who've dominated F1 for the last eight years with these new generation cars, Mercedes have made a bit of an error with the design. Now, I've heard a lot of rumours that what's causing their poor person is their minimal side pods because they're like invisible really. You can hardly see their side pods and a lot of like journalists and analysts believes that is causing the issue. The car poor person in course we've seen the Ferrari poor person but it's not hampering their performance but with the Mercedes, it is porpoising like mad, and obviously it is affecting their straight line speed. Because in a hybrid era, Mercedes have literally had the fastest engine on the grid, but all Mercedes powered teams seem to be struggling with power. Whether it's down to this new E10 fuel, I don't know, but wow, I mean, a team who's dominated. The championship for the last eight years. This is really, oh, painful to watch. How slow the Mercedes is. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna be too critical of Mercedes because they've dominated the sports in the last eight years. And obviously, there was gonna come a time where they may get something wrong, and I believe they've gone wrong with the minimal side pods. So. To me, I think they should return to the Barcelona spec, what they are using during the first pre-season test. Because the car looked like it was handling much better then. And so far, i got to say, George Russell in the Mercedes is much more happier driver than Lewis Hamilton. You listen to Lewis Hamilton in his interviews at the moment, and he just sounds so down in the dumps. He really does. Toto Wolf has said this car has the potential to be a very good car, but we've just not been able to unlock it yet. And you got people on social media saying, Oh, Toto Wolf should be hired. I mean, come on, that is absolutely ridiculous. Toto Wolf is one of the best team principals in the F1 paddock. I mean, the way Mercedes have dominated the swords in the last eight years has been absolutely fantastic. Toto has got a fantastic team. And I'm pretty sure back at Brackley and Bricksworth, they are doing everything they can to unlock the potential. In Australia, now, the Mercedes was definitely good at looking after its tyres. So it's definitely got the potential somewhere, but... As Toto Wolf says, they've just not been able to unlock it yet, which is so frustrating because, obviously, with Ferrari and Red Bull so far out in front, I mean, Mercedes probably won't be challenging for the championship this year, but if they can unlock the car, I believe, later on in the season, they could be winning races again. But it really is shocking how far... They've fallen. But, like I said, I will get behind Mercedes 100 cents because, you know, ever since Hamilton seen in the team, been a massive fan of Mercedes. When Schumacher and Rosberg was there, I wasn't really too interested in them. But obviously, with Lewis Hamilton there and in George Russell, that's why I'm a big Mercedes fan. But comment your thoughts down below what you think the problems are at Mercedes. How do you think they can resolve it? Do you think they can resolve it by sticking to this spec or return to the Barcelona spec? To me, I'd just return to the Barcelona spec because on the final day and the first pre-season test, Lewis Hamilton actually tops the time sheets. George Russell tops the time sheets yesterday, but that wasn't on pure pace. That was because Mercedes was running a lower fuel mode. But yeah, worrying times for the 
eight-time world champions. I mean, hopefully they can sort something out soon, or they may think, do you know what? Let's move over to the 2023 car. It's like what happens with Ferrari struggling with the 2020 car, absolute dog of a car. 2021 wasn't really great, but near the end of the season was making massive progress, and this Ferrari is just an absolute beast. Where they've been working on this Ferrari for about two years, so if I was Mercedes, you know, I'll get a few more races, try and unlock the car's potential, or if not, just completely give up on it and start focusing on 2023, I say, and try and come back stronger next season, but... There's still plenty of time for them to win races this season, but as to challenging championships and that, I have to admit it's game over. They're nowhere near Ferrari and Red Bull this season. I mean, Max and Leclerc are no doubt the two fighting for the championship at the moment. But Russell, he praises the team very well. He's very happy in his interviews. So Hamilton... The way he responds to the media and that, not impressed. I mean, I'm a massive Lewis Townsend fan, but some of the answers he gives and his attitude in the press is, at times, shocking, in my opinion. Bad body language. You know, you, you are a seven-time world champion, and you're meant to be getting behind the scene, not just criticising them. You know your motto, you say... You win and lose as a team. Massive lose Housen fan, but I just say it's how it is. If he does something wrong, I will call it out. And recently, his body language has been shocking in the press. It really has, where George Russell is fully behind the team. And we saw Lewis Housen having a bit of an argument with Toto Wolff in the end of the sprint qualifying. So... And Hamilton's on about investing in the Chelsea Football Club when he's an Arsenal fan. I mean, what on earth is that all about? Seriously. But yeah, Mercedes are in big, big in trouble. But like I said, I will still get behind Mercedes. I still have belief in Mercedes. This has been a shocking start to the season. And, but they've done well for the last eight years, so... These regulation changes were began to shake up the grids, but like I said, I'm not going to be critical of Mercedes. I think they've done wonders the last eight years. I really do. Bye-bye.